Hey guys, welcome to the first video of right the first video of the facial reviews. Now, uh, spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I'm gonna be reviewing the Silver Eyes. It's written by Scott Crawford and Kira Breed Wrestling. It has 389 pages, so if you're one of those people that like the shorter books, you know, I wouldn't recommend this. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick plot summary before I go into, like, I like to or not, reasons why. Also, I'm not gonna tell you the end, so then you have some hope to read it. Basically, uh, Charlie and her friends were like high school reunion or something. Yeah. They have this they go to this diner, they end up going to Freddy Fazbear's after. It's now like underneath like a abandoned mall. You know, bad business. Right? So then what happens is that they just kinda Look around, see the animatronics, and they go to the janky old motel that they're staying at. And, uh, yeah. Uh, next day, uh, another friend called Martha and her little brother Jason arrives. And I'm going back, I'm almost getting called by the security guard. Yeah, no, they got called by the security guard. Yes. Wait, no. Oh, no, they take four trips. Oh, I'm getting all confused. Right. I was getting called by the security guard. They look around more. Except now with Martha and Jason edition. They find some control panels. Like. You know. Behind the stage. They also go to Pirate's Cove. Now, I think this is the... Ah, 93, Peter Real. Right? I think, I'm pretty sure it's the 93 Peter Real. Right? They go over. Yeah, then they go back to their motel. Next day, more more diner action. Uh, they go back to the Freddy's. They go caught by the security guard who's named Dave. Vum and Dave, they go and check out the place. Except when they go back out, they lose Jason because he's fascinated by like some moving drawings or something. Yeah, so they go back, like I don't know, ten hours later or something. So they go back and uh, Dave kidnaps one of the people. Uh. The move scene happens. They get, uh, they get Jason. They escape, and then some other stuff happens. One's kind of important. The rest is just kind of ending off the book. So, uh, yeah. All right. So yeah. Okay. Now I think that Kira Breed Risley and Scott did an amazing job with this book. I loved every single page. Sure, when they were not in the pizzeria, it felt a bit slow. They can't always have action. So, yeah, I would rate the five stars. I really liked it. Like, I just absolutely love this thing. I hold on. I have the book next to me. I need to see this. Well, Charlie raised the pipe high. Charlie raised the pipe high, stepped forward, and swung it down on his head with a sickening funk. That's better than anything I could write. Let me try to find another one. Hold on. Just. Okay, I think I found a good one. The landscape was mostly bushes and short trees. The whole area nestled between rows of low lying mountains. John looked at Charlie, hoping she would notice something that would point them in the right direction. It's ten times better than anything I could write. I'll give you that. And hold on. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I had one birthday back here, John said. Is that of all the vent too? He took hold of the edge of the curtain and rubbed the glittered fabric between his fingers. No, Charlie wanted to say again, but stopped. Being silly, she tried it herself. I. How is that good writing? It deserves to be that number one New York uh, Times bestseller, but let's be real, every book is a New York Times bestseller. So yeah, I really enjoy this, and it's published by Scholastic. Right. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, let me just read the blurb. Also, not suitable for younger readers. Okay, ten years after the horrific... Ooh, things at Freddy Fazbear's Peter that ripped their town apart. Charlie, whose restaurant owned, whose father owned the restaurant, and her childhood friends reunite on the day, on the anniversary of the tragedy, and find themselves at the old pizza place, which had been locked up and abandoned for years. After they discover way inside, they realize that things are not as they used to be. The four adult-sized animatronic mascots that have that once entertained patrons have changed and now have a dark secret and the uh, oof agenda the murderous agenda horrific murders there you go if you really want to know what that said this is just amazing like come on if you're a FNAF fan I strongly encourage this if you haven't read it yet if you're Actually, if you're a FNAF fan, why haven't you read this yet? Like, Jesus Christ. This is also, like, a book that gives so much lore sometimes. Actually, no, mainly Fourth Closet. Uh, oh yeah, I saw this meme once. A good book can change people's lives. There's people going under, like, a Silver Eyes arch. And in the camera, was like, little purple guys. I like that. That was a good meme. So, uh, yeah. Really great book. I strongly encourage you if you're a FNAF fan. If you're not a FNAF fan, I'm, I'm still just like... I'll still be like, eh, it's a good book. You should try it out. Seriously. Uh, published by Scholastic, as I said. Cover art, copyright 2016. Scott Coffin. All rights reserved. Cover design by Rick DeMonco. Uh, $10 US. $13 can... Canada and eight pound Britain. At least that's what it says on the back cover on Amazon. It's like six forty five in the UK. So yeah, uh, guys, just want to say one more thing before I leave about the upload schedule. Uh, today and tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be up. I'll upload on this channel the facial reviews. And on Monday, that's when I'll upload on my main channel. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid and found it useful in some way. Tomorrow's review will be of the Twisted Ones. Uh, so, Monday will be on the main channel. Uh, so, yeah. Good night.